But finally, and this is my last point, is grow the economy, transform the economy in an inclusive way, a sustainable way, but make it resilient to external economic shocks. Because Africa cannot be an island. Things are happening in the global economy. So you have to build some kind of buffers, shock absorbers, in case the global economic uh, situation continues to, to worsen. For example, if there was a hard landing in China and there was a reduced demand for the commodities. We need to build resilience. What does it mean? For example, we have brought, brought down debt levels in Sub-Saharan Africa to 12% of GDP. You said all these great things I've done, uh, then thank you for saying that. When we came in office, our debt was 120% of GDP. Many countries in Africa had those kind of debt levels, past 100%. Now the average is 12%. So one of the building resilience is go to the capital markets, but don't build up debt again, unsustainable debt. Number two, we have gained a lot, as uh, Mr. Lagardo was saying uh, some time back. I said Africans are now man managers of the economies. But that is a hard-won achievement. It's a hard-won achievement. That discipline in macroeconomic management must continue. Because if it does not continue, you undermine resilience. This other thing we have to do, of course, is to bear in mind the external environment. External environment uh, from two perspectives. For a long time, especially among the poor countries in Africa, development has been financed by foreign aid. That foreign aid has declined this year by 20% for the first time in 10 years. I expect that to continue. Uh, we have failed to reach a deal on Doha for trade. We have failed to reach a deal on climate. So which means we have to figure out how to take into account this new external environment for everything we do. Example, surely if the markets outside are closed, but we have the African market, let us grow it. We're a billion people. That is a form of resilience and adjusting to the economic vagaries of, uh, of uh, what's happening in the world. Secondly, internally. This continent is not as poor as people think. It's not even about what is under the soil. What is under the soil is very interesting, but what is above the soil alone is a lot of wealth. 